Authorities in Iran are cracking down on women who don't cover their hair as laid out in the country's strict dress code. That's according to the human rights group Amnesty International. This 10 months after the arrest and death in police custody of a young woman, Masa Amini, who was detained for breaking the rules. Her death sparked nationwide unrest and led some women to dare to uncover their hair in public. We'll also talk more about that. We're joined by Mitra Jashni, scholar of modern Middle East studies and of political activists as well. Thank you very much indeed for being with us, Mitra. There's been a lot of uh, videos on social media coming out of Iran uh, showing girls and young women uh, daring to show their hair in the streets. Uh, is that a true reflection of, of what's been going on in the country? Yeah, first, thank you for having me in your program. Of course, in any case, you can see they are the real woman in the street, that they choose to free their hair and remove the mandatory hijab and to send a very powerful and simple message to the world and also to the Iranian government and to the Islamic regime, actually. And they want to say that we want to take back our individual freedom and right. So today, if you look, this is the anniversary of passing uh, the Pahlavi's king in Iran and many girls and boys and the, the Iranian people shout all over the world that God bless Reza Shah Soul and long life the king. Why? Because they had the, these rights and, and, and freedom and their liberties about 100 years ago. And since 40 years ago, they lost everything. So, of course, they want to take back them and uh, restore what they lost during uh, the period of Islamic Republic. But are they having the opportunity to do that? Because this report by Amnesty International says the Iranian authorities are actually doubling down on the crackdown. Does that mean more women are being arrested, more women are being jailed? Yeah, of course, it's going to continue in this case. It, but this is not something about the the demonstration of the women in the street. Please don't forget that we are talking about the regime that they don't have any respect to the humans and to the citizens of Iran. So, in fact, regime abuse and use this uh, uh, demonstration and protest against mandatory hijab to fight with the other party. So the conservative party of the Islamic republics use that against the women and against the reformist party and against both of them, they are in this game. But women, this is not something new for women. They had this fight and they uh, they had this protest from the since days of the Islamic Republic establishment. Uh, do you think the authorities this time around will be reluctant to trigger another round of nationwide protests? The protests were in the headlines for, for many months. Uh, they appear to have died down somewhat. Uh, do you think they'll be nervous that cracking down on women like this might cause things to flare up again? Of course, regime is not interested to have the, another protest and a uh, national uprising in the Iran. But this is the way because the regime doesn't have a, a rational and 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 wide actually uh, wide um, solution for what happened in Iran. So they just use the violation and violate against the women and against the men in Iran. And so what's going on? The people are coming into the street. This is like a, a total. The, um, dictator regime and they 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 are against human right they are against the individual liberty and rights and of course the finally is going to finish but unfortunately many women and many men are victim of this regime nowadays mitra jashni thank you very much